everyone, it's CubeLooter007. I'm here with an unboxing video. I haven't done one of these in a while. So these are my new Cards Against Humanity packs I bought. As you can see, we have the 2012 Holiday Pack and the 2013 Holiday Pack. Now, the funny thing about both of these is they actually only came out in their respective years for Christmas time. And if you didn't get them then, you could never get them again. Unless you had a lot of money because eBay is your ripoff. But, Cards Against Humanity, being the awesome people they are, just re-released them on their updated website where you could buy these for only $10 each. And it has the whole set instead of like bits and pieces like it used to be. Uh, all the money for buying these goes to different charities. One goes to Wikimedia, which is a Wikipedia uh, charity, because, you know, uh, they always ask for money on Wikipedia, and Cards Against Humanity likes to get back. And the other one goes to, you know, buying kids' school books and stuff. It, uh, I forgot which is which. And the newest one that just came out is the 90s Nostalgia Pack. See, it's nice and blue and red, and it's really cool looking, and I can't wait to open this. And as you can see, these are literally like packs of cards. They're not random, they're always the same. This is only $5, and they're always going to have this, but you should still get yours. Now, I just got these in the mail today, see? My shipping envelope, little letter telling me what my order is. So they're probably going to come packing like this. Now, I, you know, I live in America, so... If you're not in America, I don't know how the, if they're going to ship to you or not, because they do have some international shipping, but not all. So I'm going to open these, tell you what's in them. So if you want to be surprised, skip over this part, and here we go. I'm going to start with the 2012 Holiday Pack. I want to open these carefully so I can still keep them afterwards, because they're really nice looking. And these are expansions, but they're like way smaller than the normal expansions. Because I now have all the, ex I have everything to do with Cards Against Humanity except for the PAX expansions, which are like, um, and the retro, oh no, the reject pack. Which I'm really hoping they kind of re release later on, like they did with this. Because I never thought I was going to be able to get these holiday packs. So I'm really excited. It's really hard to open without like rooting them. I'm gonna get a scissors. I'll be right back. Oh, actually, wait, I have a knife right here. That works. Yeah, because I wanna. I don't wanna. You see, they all have a split thing right here, but I don't wanna ruin them. They're really nice looking. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven black cards in the 2012 one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And 23 white cards, so 30 cards. I think there's supposed to be about 30 cards in each of these packs. So I'm going to read off the black cards. This holiday season, Tim Allen must overcome his fear of blank to save Christmas. After blacking out during New Year's Eve, I was awoken by a blank. So you're definitely going to see these in upcoming card, uh, Humanity vs. Cards videos. Every Christmas, my uncle gets drunk and tells a story about blank. Jesus is blank. May or may not keep that one. I have a thing I don't like to think, uh, keep cards that make fun of Jesus or things like that because, you know, that's my beliefs. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and blank. These are all really good so far, except for the Jesus one. What keeps me warm? What keeps me warm during the cold, cold winter? As you can imagine some of the white cards that will go with these. Wake up, America! Christmas is under attack by secular liberals and their blank. That's all the black cards, and now the white cards. Eating an entire snowman. A toxic family environment. A 
a visually arresting turtleneck. I don't have a cameraman, so you can't see any zooming out or in. I'm just doing my best with a fixed tripod. Fucking up Silent Night in front of 300 parents. That's pretty awesome. Immaculate Conception. Hopefully you can see these. Space Jam on VHS. That's awesome. I love that movie. I don't care what anyone says about it. Gift Wrapping a Live Hamster. A Hungry Man Frozen Dinner for One. A frozen Christmas Dinner for One. Several intertwining love stories featuring Hugh Grant. Mall Santa. My Hot Cousin. The Star Wars Holiday Special. I hear that's atrocious. Krampus the Australian Christmas Monster. The Austrian, my bad. Not Australian, Austrian. Yeah, that, that's a that's horrifying. <laughs> Pretending to be happy. Funny, but not as funny as the other ones. Socks. Definitely a Christmas jo uh, gag. Taking down Santa with a surface-to-air missile. <laughs> oh, these are so horrible. In, in a good way. The tiny callous hands of the Chinese children that made this card. <laughs> oh, jeez, these are so messed up. Elf come, getting into your dirtiness again, Cards Against Humanity. A Christmas stocking full of coleslaw. Whatever Kwan's is supposed to be about. <laughs> Seriously, what is the holiday about? Another shitty year. Uh, clearing a bloody path through Walmart with a scimitar. <laughs> uh, scimitars, that's funny. I can't remember off the back of my head what the scimitar is, but I know what it is at the same time. It's some kind of weapon. Santa's heavy sack. Unfortunately, this card got a little bent on top. Don't know how that happened. But at least it's not like, you know, a rare biggest blackest dick like card. It has some speckles on it, so it happens, you know. Even though they're brand new, not everything comes out as brand new as it should. So yeah, that's the 2012 holiday pack. And now I'm going to open the 2013 one. I'm really excited for the 90s pack, more than anything else. I mean, I'm hoping I'm like the first video that shows all these, but I doubt it. The Christmas packs have been out for a while, so I'm sure there's someone who has unboxed them and showed what's in them. But the 90s pack, that just came out, so I might be the first. And that'll be good for me, if I am. Again, I'm using a knife because I want to keep the nice packaging. And it works. something written on this one. Let me, let me uh, read that before anything, because this one doesn't say anything about the website. This one says, this pack contains 30 cards that were originally split into six themed, six themed mini packs. Conspicuous constipation, your shitty family, in fate circle jerk, elves, etc. A cringing look back at 2013 and 12 cards that have nothing to do with the holidays. So yeah, um, I completely missed out because I started playing this year, unfortunately, even though I knew about the Kickstarter when this game came out two years ago, but I ignored it because I'm stupid. But besides that, um, they have a funny website where they show what they did for the 12 Days of Christmas last year, and I think it was like six bucks, and you can get the, like all these cards plus random gifts like coal and stuff, so I can't wait what they do for this Christmas. So I'm definitely signing up for that one. And they always give it to charity, the Christmas ones, which is awesome. So yeah, like this was split into like literally 12 days of Christmas. Six of the days were cards, 
12, the other six were random gifts. Uh, I think you can find out more about it on like uh, if you Google like the holiday Christmas pack or something like that. There should be it's not listed here, but I saw it. there was a website. It was like like the horrible Christmas or something. I'll put it in the description when I remember it. But here, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine black cards this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So it still equals thirty, but we got more black cards, which is always great because there's never enough black cards in this game. So we begin. But wait, there's more. If you order blank, in the next 15 minutes, we'll throw in blank absolutely free. A pick two. I love pick twos. Because they are forbidden from masturbating, Mormons channel their repressed sexual energy into blank. No comment. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator of the universe, who has granted us blank. Now, this isn't really offensive, so I'm going to keep it in. I really hope my grandma doesn't ask me to explain blank again. Another good card. See, it's not that, like, I'm offended easily. It's just that when it comes to, like, some of the cards in this set, like, I can deal with all kinds of jokes, but anything to do with Jesus or God in a negative light, it just personally bothers me, so I will not be including them. Because in the starter set, there's, like, some cards that I took, only like four or five, but you know, that's not a big deal because there's a lot of other better cards. What's the one thing that makes an elf instantly ejaculate? Here's what you can expect for the new year. Out, blank, in, blank, pick two. Revealed, why he really resigned. Pope Benedict's secret struggle with blank. Kids these days with their iPods and their internet, in my day, all we needed to pass the time was blank. That's an awesome one. I love that one. Greetings, humans. I am BlankBot executing program. That's all the black cards and now the white cards. Giving money and personal information to strangers on the internet. A magical tablet containing a world of unlimited pornography. Oh, jeez. These low, low prices. Piece of shit Christmas cards with no money in them. Yeah. Every Christmas card needs to have at least a buck in it. Moses gargling Jesus' balls while Shiva and the Buddha penetrate his divine handholds. Yeah, I'm not keeping that one. That's horrifying. The Hawaiian goddess Capo and her flying de Hatchable vagina? What? The shittier Jewish version of Christmas? <laughs> oh yes, that's staying. That's staying. Swapping bodies with mom for a day. Oh, that's just wrong. Making up for ten years of shitty parenting with a PlayStation. PlayStation equals happiness. Or as Nikki would say, get that quadruple. Finding out that Santa isn't real. <gasps> Spoiler alert, kids! Slicing a ham in icy silence. The Grinch musty come still pelt. Rudolph's bright red balls. Holy shit. Jizzing into Santa's beard. Creepy. Breeding elves for their priceless semen. <laughs> the royal afterbirth. Um, what? <laughs> I have no idea what that's trying to represent. Hopefully not what I think it might be. Congress's flaccid penises withering away beneath their suit pants. No comment. Having a strong opinion about Obamacare. Yes. <laughs> a simultaneous nightmare and wet dream star in Sigourney Weaver. Wow. Being blind, deaf, and having no limbs. People with cake in their mouths talking about how good cake is. Yo, yeah, you fatties out there. Ruben. <laughs> I'm kidding. Where am I? And that's the 2013 pack.
And now the piece de resistance. The 90s nostalgia pack. Oh. I've been waiting for this so long. Oh, wait. So long as in this, ever since they announced it at, because uh, they had this pack come out at the recent PAX East, but no one was nice enough to put the cards that are in it online. So I'm going to be that person because I think everyone has a right to know what they're going to buy. And for five bucks, you know, it has to be worth it no matter what, right? Oh, the pack says Artist Edition Wrapper by... Uh, I can't read that signature. It's just like a squiggly line. It's, it says at J Crime, so it's really nice looking. You can see there's that squiggly signature, and like I think there's like those can those good and plenty candies on here. All right, so let's start out with the count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three white. So it's the same amount of white and black as the 2012 holiday pack. I can't wait for this. All right, let's read the black cards. I'm so excited. Please be good. Tonight on SNCC, are you afraid of blank? Oh yeah. Nostalgia rushing in. It's Morphin Time, Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Saber 2 Tiger, Blink! Oh, I can see the horrifying situations that's going to bring. Believe it or not, Jim Carrey can do a dead-on impression of Blink. I don't see how that's not nostalgia-ish, but okay. I like Jim Carrey. How did, how did Stella get her groove back? Pretty fine. I'm a bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a child, I'm blank. Up next on Nickelodeon, Cla Clarissa explains blank. Oh damn, this is awesome. And finally, Siskel and Ebert have, plan have panned blank as poorly conceived and sloppily executed. I think Siskel died right by now. So, I think Ebert's the only one left, so yeah, this is definitely nostalgia. So yeah, pretty good black cards. One thing I want to note that I forgot is uh, every one of Cards Against Humanity's expansions have a cool little uh, logo or like stamp kind of thing for like a symbol to tell what set it's from. So like this one you can see there's a 90 on the bottom and the Christmas ones have Santa hat for 2013. I don't know if you can see it. and. Snowflake for the 2012 one. And all the expansions have one, two, three, or four on them. The base set is blank, and it come and the biggest blackest box has boxes. And packs says packs. So if you ever mix all your cards like we do and you want to put them back, you can easily do that because they already stamped it for you. Now the white cards. Okay. A bus that will explode if it goes under five if it goes under fifty miles per hour. I can't remember what that's referencing, but I do recall something like that. So that's pretty funny. Several Michael Keatons. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Cool nineties up in the front hair. Oh jeez, remember that hairstyle? I'm a nineties kid by the way, not trying to be that annoying nineties kid, but I was born in 89, so yeah. 90s. Patty Mayonnaise. <laughs> Dug up in here. Getting caught up in Crossfire. Crossfire. Getting caught up in the Crossfire. Angels interfering in otherwise fair baseball game. <laughs> in another words, fair baseball game. Angels in the outfield much. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. Yeah. I never had that stuff before. Pamela Anderson's boobs running in slow motion. Back when she was actually kind of hot. I think that's Baywatch. Yelling girl power and doing a high kick. 
<laughs> oh, nineties. You amuse me so. Pure Mo Pure Moods Volume One. I have no idea what that's referencing, but maybe someone in the comments section can tell me. The Great Cornholio. Oh, jeez. Beavers and Butthead Crazies. This is for you. I was never a big fan of the show, but I but it is Cornholio is always kind of funny. Liking big butts and not being able to lie about it. I just found Robert's new favorite card. Freeing Willy. Oh jeez, this, this has such a dull meaning, it's not even funny. Well, it is funny, but that's what makes it funny. Kurt Cobain's death. I say nothing to this one. Nothing. Stabbing the shit out of, the Capri, out of a Capri Sun. Don't we still do that, people? Wearing Nicholas's cage. Wearing Nicholas Cage's face. I'm pretty sure people are doing that now. The Y2K bug. Remember, everything's gonna crash and blow up in the year 2000. We're all gonna die, and yeah, it's 2014, and we're fine. Well, as fine as we can be. Deregulating the mortgage market. Again, reference lost on me. Jerking off to a 10 second real media clip. <laughs> no comment. Log. Trademark. Uh, I don't know. A mulatto, an albino, a mosquito, and my libido. I think that's referencing a song of some kind. Sunny D. All right! And finally, sucking the president's dick. Bill Clinton. This is for you. You know, I actually had a slide whistle and I really should have brought it out here because that would have been perfect for this. But, oh well. Maybe I'll fix it in editing. <laughs> Maybe I won't. So yeah, that's um, my unboxing, or really unpacking, video for Cards Against Humanity's 2012 Holiday Pack, 2013, and 90s Pack. So. You can net all these for 10, 20, 25. So, if you're in America, because this is 10, this is 10, and this is 5. And they have a new policy on the Cards Against Humanity website that you can get free shipping. It's slow, but it, it's not that bad. It took me like a week to get it, and I live like New York. They live in like, they ship from Pennsylvania, I think. Yeah, and um... You get free shipping. They, they charge tax. But now they sell everything on their website. And free shipping is really nice because I think shipping would have been like five bucks. So I saved a lot. And I got Ruben his own 90s pack because he has his own set too. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. And they now that they sell everything on their website, you don't have to just buy through Amazon anymore, which is great. I mean, I love Amazon, but it's nice to just be able to buy from them and get all these great deals and buy everything at once. So yeah, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my Humanity vs. Cards series where me and my friends will be using these cards and other ones in hilarious situations of Cards Against Humanity. It's going to be in the description below. A uh, link to the playlist with all the videos. This is going in that playlist as well. And enjoy! Thanks for watching.